it in the dark today because this is how I fucking feel. Somebody, somebody, pity peas, pity peas with sudder on top told me what was the old fucking point. Say that again. What was the old fucking point of having the fats in? By the way, it's in the other arm and I had it. But what's the old point of having it in the fucking arm? When you've got a blumbering, blumbering moron for a pie minutes off. That being Boris Blumbering Johnson. And if you want to know what I'm ranting and going do larry about, this is what's happened, right? You've got one of them scientists again. You know, one of them Mr. Know-it-all scientists of the university of know-it-all. Come down and raffled on that the bird rave is inedible. It's inedible. Meaning everyone that's at the fat scene, what's the fucking point? And people say, well, Pete, Pete, are we going to be all right? We've got the fat scene. Let me finish. We're now going to have a third dose of the fat scene. Now, I already know that next day, near winter time, it could be even winter time, we're going to be having a booster shot, right? Tis Ritter turned around and he said that he's going to cheat this fucking virus, like the common cold from now on. Right, but he also blabbled on about the third wave. Now, the scientist who thinks he knows of said to Boris this, and the it doesn't piss me off the most, doesn't piss me off the most. Boris the Dollis, as I like to call him, the prat who runs his country, has met another prat and they bought out a thing called the Tack and Take. So he's wasted about loads and loads of money on that. Fucking tack and taste again. And you already know what I think about that fucking tack and taste. So apparently people, you have it. And it comes out, you're not positive. You think, oh, don't have to worry about it. You've got to keep having it until it says you're fucking positive. Someone explain to me where's the winning in that. But this is a bit what pisses me. It fucking pisses me, this. Because apparently, people... Apparently when this third wave comes... I'm like, this is what Boris Johnson, not me... Boris Johnson, he's out of his own lips, not mine. Boris Blumbering Johnson has turned around and said the best way out of it is lockdown. Fat C, that's fat C, is not the answer. The lockdown is the answer. Seriously, it's not me saying this. I'm not making this shit up. Boris the fucking dollies, I've heard this. I've actually heard it. I'm hoping I'm hearing things. I'm hoping, I hope I fucking am. I hope I bam my head. I hope it's side effects of this fat C I had. Boris the fucking blumbler has turned round and said, No, 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 no. The fat scene ain't the way. The lockdown's the way. So in other words, people, who are in a shop like me, one in a pub, it's like my sympathy for people who run pubs, believe me, and any business, whether it's a charity shop, retail or anything, you have my sympathy. And that's from the art as I do. I work in. Restail myself as a volunteer, key volunteer. You have my sympathy when you've got a blumbering prat for a prime minute, sir. You really do. Body, do the world a favour and hurry up and leave, pal. Hurry up and leave and let someone from the Tories take over because it seems they give a shit about the economy. For people think I've been an arsehole and going about NHS and saving lives and the usual patronising shit that Boris the Dollies has said. Explain me this one. Explain it to me. What's the point of the fucking fat scene? I might as well have not bothered. I might as well have not have bothered because you got a prat for the prime minister. You can turn around and say lockdown is the answer. So what Boris Johnson is saying is, fuck your businesses, don't meet any of your mates, Stay at home, live like a fucking hermit for the rest of your fucking life and hope the fucking stands go down. The thing is, this fucking warrior, gold our prime minister, couldn't even be bothered looking at the stands. Don't forget, dead lady people, I've been doing you the favour. I've been doing you the favour, I'm going to do you one now. We've gone up a little bit in England at 10 to 8, and we're still going up, but it's that little white line, you know, you see on the evening news, we're still going down. Yes, we had two the other day, went red. They've now fixed themselves. I think Bolton is the only one where he's got the red arrow. But with us be, still being on 28, that's England, that could fix itself. That could fucking fix itself. And for people that live in Thameside, like me, 
we have gone to 34. 34, that is results. Why the hell am I doing your job for you, Boris, you blumbling prat for a man? Why am I doing your job, you pompous, stupid, stuck-up, public boy prat? Seriously, I never had such eight for this prime minister. Never had eight. This guy, it's all right for him to say, Oh, no, 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 lockdown is the answer. It's all right for him to say that when he gets paid a stupid amount of money from talking out of his arse. And I'll probably bend over, but I'm butt naked. I've got my T-shirt on, so no, I'm not doing any adult films. But I probably would. If I'd done this on now, which I'm not, but I'm wearing a T-shirt at YouTube. I'm not all the way down, right? If I could, though, I'd stick my ass out and imitate Boris Johnson. Because Boris Johnson people get paid a stupid amount of money for talking out of his rear end. He can afford to do lockdown, where other people are worried about their livelihoods. Here's one for you, Boris. Save the fucking economy. But it just winds me up. It really winds me up when I heard that. From Boris Johnson's own blumbling lips that, oh, lockdown is the answer, not vaccine. So what was the whole point? Think about it. What was the old point of making this fat scene? What's the old point of people who are 60, 70, 80, so on, even my age, 30, 30s? What was the old point of going out, getting the fat scene, getting a second dose of the fucking fat scene if this is the shit you get from our fucking prime minister? What was the point? And what also pisses me off is, is what, giving us a third dose of it? So he doesn't have he doesn't have faith that the second one works. He doesn't have faith that this brilliant X phase or whatever they call it, the, the phaser one, he doesn't have fucking faith about the booster one. He doesn't have faith in it. He doesn't believe it's gonna work. If a prime minister like that, you wonder why I'm going in my prat. You know, it really annoys me. Really annoys me that he listens to these fucking donged scientists, the one that now reckons that it's inedible. We're gonna get a third rave. It really fucking pisses me. It pisses me. What was the point of the fat scene? What was it? Really? What was the fucking point? What? Why fucking have a needle slammed in my fucking arm? That didn't fucking hurt. But what's the whole point of me having it? When body says, oh, no, no, no. Lockdown is the answer. So in other words, people, if you're suicidal and you're worried about your livelihood and you're only just getting it back like we are, no, 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 no. Body's the blumber. I'll probably throw another lockdown on us. Because think about it, right? Think about it. It wasn't in what was going to save the fucking economy. Well, map my ass. It was the tourists what bats at him and bats at him in doing it. When he fucking patronised us and says, oh, April, March, we're going to get to normality. How many times has Boris the Dong pushed the fucking pole? How many? I will insult him. If he just sorts of shit about the economy, why the fuck is the Nightingale is an empty building? Why the fuck is the Nightingale an empty fucking building? There's one for you. And he's blumbling on. That Tis Ritter doing around saying, oh, there's not going to be any more lockdowns, no need for them. But then you've got Boris the Dollies fucking turning around and something shit. Now, he hinted it. He hinted it. And we don't know. We don't know whether there's going to be a third one. That's just a dotty scientist coming up with a theory because other consists. But other consists didn't have as much of the fucking... Fat scene. It just shows our lack of confidence, our dong along pine minutes or ass. So it's how much. And I think it's sad, people. I think it's sad when Texas has done away with lockdown. Their pine minutes are, which bodies the dong to learn from this, but he won't. He's a prick. Yep, I've got him a knob, because I think he is a knob. Right? Bodies the dong along won't do it, but the Texas precedent, that's in Texas, got rid of it. Got rid of lockdown because he felt that's the one in Texas that the deaths have gone down, there's not as much obstacles, and he has faith in his people, the people in Texas. And he felt it was unhuman and it was cool, so he got rid of it, done away with it. But that our prat, our blundering moron for a prime minute, so wants to events are there. His brain cell, that is, the very minute brain cell, the public do more on, I like to call him, wants to bring it back, doesn't it deal with the fat scene. So it makes me having the fat scene and everybody else having the fat scene. If you've got a livelihood, you're only just getting your business back like we are. 
you're going to think, well, that was fucking pointless because of the third rave. Now, hopefully, they might have got it wrong. Yeah, we've been up today, right? Kind of a bit silly then. We went up a little bit today, right? But it's early days. We still at a low number, and I've got a feeling the stands will go down. It was like that when the stews reopened. So, people, people, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm only advising. My name's Peter, not Bollies the Dollies, right? Just be smart when you go for your drink. Don't go to your loop balloon. You go soppy. I know there's some people what brumble. They are not to brumble. Because I want the things to go right down to be this fucking dickhead. What we've got for the prime minutes are wrong. I want to be this moron. What we've got is blumbering twit. Wrong. The rest of these fucking scientists. Wrong. And beat the fucking thing. Yeah, it'll go up now and again. But at the moment, we're doing dud. We're still doing dud, right? As for Boris, Boris, you really are a public stew moron. You've never did a shit about the economy, and you don't even give a shit about the NHS. If you did, why the fuck is the Nightingale shut down? And you definitely don't have faith in the fat scene, and you can't even be bothered looking at your stands. Oh, I'll do it in May. How many times have you uploaded it since September, people? How many times? Oh, we're going to, oh, we're going to end it in Dune. I'm sorry, Buster Pulse. I'm sorry of it. But to have a third fat scene, a third dose of it, it's always how lack of faith they are. I'll tell you what, scientists. I'll tell you what. When I start seeing some results, barely any deaths, barely any obstacles, and barely anybody getting it after the third dose, then I'll fucking have it. Other than that, Boris Johnson, you really are a prat. You really are. As soon as people fuck you out, the happier I'll fucking be. But I'd fucking tell you one thing, people. Fuck for the fucking tourists if you're running a business. Because it was them what fucking did it. Roadmap my bell end. Other than that, that's what I think of our prime minister. He's a fucking bell end. Until then, see you later. Fucking tosser.